Hey guys, it's Jack here. And today I'm doing a product review on a free VST plugin called Keybase, which is made by Martinic, and you can find it for free at martinic.com. Let's jump in. Okay, first things first, let's check out these keys. So they're clickable. I'll turn my keyboard. Beautiful, beautiful warm bass. Let's check out some of these effects. Bass booster. Okay, you really tell the difference in that drive. Picking up those lower frequencies really makes this VSD stand out. Nice and the octave higher as well. I love that you can see the animation on these keys down here. You know me, I love my vintage, so seeing something this graphic on here really completes the plugin. If anything, it's a tiny bit of distortion, but like it's good, it's a good type of distortion to the bass. It resonates through the frequencies. I like that. Let's try this fuzz. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping. Yes, that was great. I love in depth, where you can in depth editing into VSTs. Always good to find that individual sound. Because the sound may come perfect, but not perfect for you. It's always good to have that custom side to it. I love my low tone basses. So this is perfect. Let's try the sustain, the cusp. Get a nice plucked bass sound from it. That's lovely. We should get something going actually, so I can actually test this out properly. Nice. Yeah, I think I'll record that. Maybe back in two jiffies. Okay, we've got that recorded now. Let's play with some of these effects, see what we've got. I like that. It's simple, it works. This is why I like these graphics. Nice big buttons gives you that old vintage feel. Show the fuzz. Just enough. Subtle. This is probably my favourite here. Easy to access. Just enough. And if you're doing anything from old school to EDM, you can use it anywhere. Really works off his bass booster there. Let's check out the settings. See what we got. Okay. Wow. You can see this very often. This is individual tuning for each note. Okay. Let's see how it works. Find some low. Subtle. Switch it to the semitones. If you if you really wanted the vintage feel to the original instrument, you could slightly alter these and do and do a somewhat live piece, and it give you that authentic feel, which is nice. I'm not going to try any reverb on it today, but I might do in a later video. But any any of other effects and reverb and EQing and all that. This I'll do it at a later date, but this is just solid as it is. I might do some drums with it, see how it feels, but this is really good up to you. Let's try some other things. Keep that track going. Okay, we have a nice filter on. Try that some ones. Point of the 
this set is hut is this here. It's individual note tuning. You don't see it very often, but it's it makes it. When you're trying to get that authentic sound, it really does make it. It's beautiful. Alright, let's try out something else. Let's try it with some drums. I love that. As it comes, preset, it's near enough perfect. All right, so I've got rid of the drone off the last one because I had a drone going throughout here. Because I like the sound of it, as you can see here. I want to see what individual notes sound like if you were doing it in what bass riff or a melodic structure. Let's find out. I think some bass drums would be quite nice because the individual sounds, they pop off. So you take off the sustain and you, you know, you feel you feel the presence of the bass. Lovely plucked notes. Let's see what we can do. If I, was, if I was mixing this, I think I'd have two tracks going because this works particularly well on two octaves, I can tell that already, and I'd have the lower octave with the lower tones hitting out this bass line, octave higher hitting on the tone of the bright together. Let's keep it going. Really impressed with this built in filter. You guys may know I'm, I do a bit of everything music wise, but I really felt like today that the contrast between one of these old school VSTs, you know, where the sounds come from, contrasting with some EDM dance, synth, whatever you want to call it. I thought that it a good representation of what you can do with synths, even as preset or if you custom. You know, it's it's always worth it's always worth experimenting and this one, this key bass from Martinic. Spot on. Free as well. It's mind blown. So you should definitely go check it out. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I just feel like a quick thank you for everyone for watching. And you can get this VST from martinic.com. And it's completely free. I did it myself today. You just scroll down. Some examples here. Scroll down. You get yourself your free license. Uh, you, and you download the trial. Type in the license. Bob's your uncle. And that's it. Job done. Brilliant. You can find these guys on Twitter. And go to the site. And uh, whilst you're there. Uh, Stop by and say hello. Thank you very much. Take care.